Hi, welcome back to Genesis Custom Sabers, and I built a probe droid. I've been working on it for a while, and I wanted to build my own probe droid from scratch. And this is before um, Sideshow Collectibles came out with their amazing 1-6 scale probe droid, which I'd love to get my hands on. Uh, so mine's built from found parts and things that I, I machined together and put together, um, and I wanted to make it functional. So mine is wind chimes. And I've been waiting for a windy day so I could demo this outside, but there just hasn't been enough wind here on Hoth this winter. It's been a really mild winter. It's kind of odd. But anyways, as you can see, there's a, a the light is illuminated. Um, I'll show you how that works. And uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out, and I just wanted to do a demo video. So I'll show you how, uh, how mine works and how it comes apart. As you can see, it's dangled on strings. You can see the, uh, the solar cell on the top there that recharges the... Uh, the illumination. Now I just put the fresh battery in there, but the really cool thing is that generally when the when the light's bright, generally when the light's bright, that switches off, and when I cover the solar cell, the light comes on. Um, but there's a full battery in there right now, so it's on all the time. It was made from a garden light, um, one of those garden lights you plug in your garden, and it's got the solar cell on top and the little LED that that illuminates uh, at nighttime and in the daytime the sun charges up the solar cell. I didn't want to change the batteries on my little model, so I decided to try to build that. Uh, obviously it's not to scale, but I tried to build it with uh, with that really cool little feature there so that the light kind of comes on and off um, automatically. Uh, the, the legs dangle from little strings and actually held on with a, with a magnet. So that's a, a really strong magnet that, that, that holds the, the legs. The legs just dangle on the same string. And these uh, legs actually cut out of uh, of aluminum, one eighth inch thick aluminum. Um, I mapped them out from drawings that I found online and tried to get uh, as accurate legs as I could. But uh, the whole thing comes apart with this screw. This nut, I should say, and this threaded rod. And it comes apart into its components. The base component there, this is built out of a, an ABS plumbing cap that I put on the, the mill and machined the different grooves in there. And, uh, and added the little greeblies, and then of course uh, multiple treatments of paint and a, a rubber rubber texture there to give it give it some uh, some depth and, and dimension to the armor plates. Spacer, and uh, and this is the head. Uh, I'll give you some shots too of the different little techniques I used to to uh, to simulate the the different lenses and. Uh, and instruments around the perimeter of the probe droid, trying to get it as close as possible to uh, the drawings. The sideshow collectible drawings were really helpful in this. And uh, and in here you can see it's barely accessible. Is the uh, the battery compartment for a rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery that is recharged by the uh, the solar cell. And uh, I used the original LED and just put it in a fitting with a with a lens there. Um, so that's how this uh, baby comes apart. That's how it functions. Um, I'll probably just end the video with uh, a series of, uh, of pictures that I took as I was building it. So I hope that inspires you the next time you see something really cool in a movie and you want it really bad. Go to make your own. Thanks for watching.